So if you ever have an opportunity to come to an event here at the convention center in Chattanooga, it is a really cool building. The architecture here is really neat. A lot of exposed beams and stuff inside here. Wind is all over. So it's got a nice view of the city outside there. So right down there is where we're headed. And that's the entrance to the car show. So we're gonna take a ride right down the escalator right here and see what we can find. One of the really cool things about um, being a gearhead and living in the South is that we have car events just about year round. Um, we have cruise ins and car shows outside until about, um, October, November, December, there's always Christmas parades to do. Um, in January, February, we start with the kind of indoor car shows in some of the bigger cities. So, but it's always, you know, within an hour or two drive, you can find something to do uh, car related pretty much year round. We just picked up our tickets and we're walking through the main doors here. My goodness, this is a great venue for an indoor car show. One of the things you're going to notice here at the World of Wheels and any uh, indoor car show is the displays around these vehicles. These are full-blown show cars. Great little Tri-5 Chevy wagon here. I like that color combo, a little blue on white action. Uh, cruising on down the aisle right here. Check out this Rolls Royce. Oh my goodness. Looks like kind of a root beer brown metallic on top. Uh, kind of an ivory on the bottom, separated by just a little black pinstripe right there. It's got some big inch rims, looks like uh, maybe 20 inch rims. Uh, again, root beer brown. Uh, kind of a medium brown leather interior. Very classy car. Awesome display with this car too. And uh, like I said earlier, these are full blown show cars as witnessed by the mirrors underneath. You can see that this car is just as sanitary on the bottom as it is on the top. Very, very clean, detailed car. Very nice little Chevy Nova rag top right here. Blue on bottom. It's got just a little bit of metallic in it. Black satin on the hood and the trunk with some gloss black racing stripes on it. Separated by just a little red pinstripe right there. And you can see the engine is detailed and painted just the same as the exterior as you can see on the valve covers right there. Over here we've got a Mustang GT350. These early fastback pony cars was one of my favorite of the Mustang series. That Oxford white with the blue racing stripes, uh, the fastback look, the wood grain steering wheel, just classic Mustang. One of my favorite features is that little window on the fastbacks. Over here we've got a 30 or 31 Model A Ford Woody. Kind of a two-tone burgundy and black. Looks like a 30 model. Over here we've got a 1955 Chevy Gasser dubbed the Rebel. Got the flip front fiberglass front end was typical for the old Gassers of that era. And it's got the uh, uh, headers that dump right in front of the firewall. Again, that was uh, typical of gassers with the straight axle. Killer display. Some of these displays have had a ton of work and money put into them. I enjoy looking at the displays just almost as much as the cars. 
this display over here's got some fancy aluminum uh, uh, brackets around the corners there as you can see this car is so dark purple it almost looks black over here is a display of Camaros of various years Here we got Vaughn Hot Rod set up, doing pinstriping and selling merchandise. Hey, Vaughn. Coming up on the Volkswagen section right here. We got a little Volkswagen bug. A couple of patina rides on this side over here, actually. I love those luggage racks on the top of those bugs. Got a bus over there. Over here, we've got my favorite of all Volkswagen body styles, this single cab truck here. And over there, we got a double cab. One very unique feature of these trucks is all the sides fold down so you can create a total flatbed back here on the back or you can have a conventional truck bed, either one. Up here, underneath the bed, one of my favorite features of these cars is storage unit underneath there so you can store all kinds of luggage and stuff it's got up here the uh, push out front windows and it's got sliding windows on the side for ventilation really cool trucks i love the wood accents in that bed too here we got a double cab awesome color combination with that teal on the bottom white on top separated by a red pinstripe chrome typical rear engine Volkswagen setup inside we've got a banjo steering wheel kind of not very typical for Volkswagens luggage rack on top I love that on this one, you can see the fold down bed sides right there. And he's got the rear vent wind on this one, which was kind of an option. Nice little metal cutout right there in the display. Really cool. Over here, we've got a Volkswagen thing. These were only produced, or only sold rather, for two years in the United States. Here is a nicely displayed 57 Chevy Nomad. Love those red line tires. Really picks up the red interior of this car. Nice color combo with that silver on the outside. Over here is another Volkswagen Bug. Really cool feature of this car is the rag top on, the, on there that folds back. Otherwise, pretty stock looking. I was looking at this big rig earlier on my first walk through in the show, and uh, I cannot even imagine how many hours it took to airbrush this trailer on this truck. And uh, this side over here, I'll show you, it's got kind of a biblical theme, I guess you'd say. I imagine there's hundreds of hours, if not thousands, involved in painting this trailer. That is all airbrushed by a very talented artist. On the other side of the uh, truck is kind of a uh, patriotic military theme. You can see right here. Over here is uh, kind of a trend I don't understand at all. The way they spread those tires to fit those big rims. And over here is another trend I don't understand. The Carolina squat that's going on on this truck. I guess that's just the young guys flexing their personality, I guess you'd say. A nice little Impala here. 
check out the doors on this 300. Very cool. There's a little something for everyone at this show. One of my favorites so far at the show has been this four-wheel drive Pontiac. It looks like it is ready for some off-road action. It's, uh, you know, it's not as pretty as some of the other cars. It's actually pretty gnarly, in fact, but I really dig it. Over here, we're coming up on a Boss 302 Mustang. There's several vendor booths set up over here. We got uh, Miller Welding over there in the corner. Charlie's Custom Creations. Right here. Down there, we got uh, some powder coat guys and Coker Tires set up over there selling tires. It looks like the uh, drag cars all over here in this section. Better place to be is here because drain it is cold. There's beautiful cars in here. Lots of back cameras. T Mobile don't forget, T Mobile Bull back there. Grand Carnival is go for the kids. Back to the future, about 145, 2 o'clock. I'll be there in their booth. We're going to give away some stuff. Looks like Corvette Central over here in this section. Don't forget, next month, Birmingham. The uh, River City Corvette Club represented right here. Make sure you mark your calendars. This is the 54th. My favorite year to split right here, this 63 split window Corvette. Got a little something for everybody here today. Oh man. Including stuff for the kiddos. <laughs> Whoever owns this car must really love their pet. I've never seen a wrap like that before. Mandalorian still here taking pictures, doing fist bumps. Blue ones tested for one of the really good ones, so it's not by sale. They have a lot of guys at Old Rowley's. I am really digging this little S10. He wants a choice, and he's going to get it. He wants a choice. Got a box of our t shirt counter. Grab a t shirt on the way out. The man, the myth, the legend, Eric Estrada from Chips, set up right here, signing autographs. This is apparently the Mopar section, um, or maybe it's a club, I'm not sure. Uh, I love the display here with the checkerboard floor. I'm not sure how they do that, that if it's the show promoters that fund the displays or if the club members all go in together and purchase the uh, stuff to do the displays with. I'm not sure, but it's really neat that all these uh, uh, Mopars are displayed together in one section. My favorite Camaro ever produced right here, 69 Indianapolis, 500 mile race pace car loved the color combo on these cars 
that white and orange is just really okay, cool. Okay, we've got a trivia question. Now, this one's trick. I did not even know this one until he started telling me that I knew who it was. All right, I'm going to let him ask you the question. And we are here in the booth, Back to the Future, right in the center of the venue. One second. I think this is the wife's favorite of the show right here. This 57 Chevy 3100. Gunmetal gray. And it's got kind of a saddle leather interior in it. Can't get too close to show you the interior there, really. Maybe we can sneak a peek there. Over here in this booth, we've got the Back to the Future display. And if you remember from the show, when Marty gets everything straightened out in the past, he goes back to the future and this is the truck that he drove. Over here is Doc's DeLorean. And the cool thing about this is it's got all the accessories. There's the Walkman. There's the hat he wears in the future and the glasses. There's his boots he wears in the future and his hoverboard. There's Doc's control, uh, controller right there and his uh, camcorder that he used to record everything. And there is Mr. Fusion. <laughs> and there is a save the clock tower flyer if you remember that from the movie very cool the signatures of the cast and crew on the uh, dashboard if you want to come back in oh we'll have to check that out yeah it's on the, or the glove box <laughs> Yep, there it is. All the signatures of the cast and crew. Really cool stuff here. Also up on the dash is the Sports Almanac. I don't know if you remember that from the movie, but that played a big part in the, in the movie. Right here, we got Ford versus Chevy in 1969. My favorite year of Camaro. No, there is the 69 Mustang adversary of the Camaro that year. They spend a ton of money on this displays, as well as the cars. I would say there's probably a few million dollars worth of hardware in here that, this evening. Really competition going on here at the Hot Wheels races. I believe we've had more little girls win than boys. They must pick out a really good car. Here's a model rock shot back here. If you come through the midway, don't forget the copper kettle up there in the front. You need something sweet. Make the first even more. Help song. Here's WDMTV as well. 
Pretty stock up here in Chevy truck right here. Mostly just uh, restored on the outside. Got a nice set of aluminum wheels on it. But you can see there under the hood, it's uh, modernized with a V8. Check out that interior. Beautiful. And a big old flight bed back here in the back. Y'all, there it is. That's my favorite right there. I have to look at this truck every time I see it. A little Chevy P10 paddle truck. LS powered. Just an awesome rig, Lord, nice. It's all old magazine covers from front to rear. Oh, I see that up on the uh, headliner. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's all old magazine covers there. Really neat detail. Well, we had a great time checking out those show cars at the World of Wheels in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite ride was. Till next time, y'all get out there and build something.